Mike, was anything on night two of the Dome Show better than that Shingo match, which was third on the card? Yes. Yes, there was. Impossible. A, is that where you ended up? Is that where you left off? Yes. Well, that's too bad you did. Shameful, in fact, that you did. Why didn't you wake well, up? Well, we got a minute here, today? so tell us what was better before we have to go to a break. Well, that's why I'm just kind of wasting a little bit of time. Don't waste here. You time. Think I'm going to throw the main a whole event bunch was Tokyo fifty Dome minutes long. Was it sure too was. long or was it awesome? No, it wasn't too long. Well, you know what? It may have been a little bit too long. They had a closing stretch after the closing stretch, but considering that it was Wrestle Kingdom, much like you know WrestleMania, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take a little bit, and it did go almost fifty minutes long, and it was an all-time classic, and it's another one that you put in the pile as far as match of the year candidates all depends on what you like ibushi naito osprey and and um for yesterday with with okada Cobb and shingo and this match with uh with jay white and with kota ibushi all absolutely fantastic spectacular matches in their own ways Jay White is that dude, but Kota Ibushi right now is God in New Japan. The uh, story completes its cycle, and you can tell me how right I was after we get back from break. So hold that thought. Right, right about now. what? The the whole story. What we got? To- we should bring up Otis again. Can can you believe Otis did not get the 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 same type of hype that Kota Ibushi did? Come on, bring that yeah, back it's up. Yeah, disgusting. Again. I'll talk about Compare it after the, the break. Two. Please. Back in a moment. Observer Live. Somebody here on Twitch just asked if Jay White is leaving after New Year's Dash. Is that some rumor? Well, you would have to listen to his promo last night, which was uh, kind of devolved into a went from a comic book uh, evil type of, of promo into a uh, into almost like a baby face promo, saying how nobody was there for him, and now everybody he's been on this you know mission for. Eight years now, didn't see his family for three years while he was training, and he just sounded like he was at his absolute wit's end. And if you saw the match, when you do go ahead and see that match, nearly 60 minutes, they both poured it all out on the table. So it uh, for storyline purposes, I'm not sure exactly what they're pushing here, if it's maybe him leaving Bullet Club, if it's him maybe quitting for a while. I'm not sure exactly what direction that they'll take, but it was a it was a pretty great promo and it, it did kind of make it sound as if he was done. He kept saying how, how done he was. So all right. well, all it's say- obviously a storyline, yes. but go ahead. You want to go ahead? I'll say yes. this. I could tell you for a fact. Find out when Jay White signed with New Japan. It was a seven year deal. He's so yeah, he's I don't think like he signed years. seven years ago. He's got many years left on his deal. Now listen Well yes I wasn't going to bring this up. I don't want to argue about it. I'm just going to tell you that I think it was dumb for Kota Bushi to win the briefcase in the G1 and then lose it, okay? On this very show Jesus. five minutes ago, you asked, you brought this up. I wasn't going to bring it up. You asked for me to talk ahead, about it after Babbles. the break. Go ahead. Listen, Go ahead. on this very show, I mocked WWE for suddenly figuring out that there's a Royal Rumble in three weeks and having to call Goldberg because nobody was ready. It's not like nobody knew there were two Tokyo Domes this year. It's not like they found out at the last second they needed to have two main events. They had a year to find a way to get two people ready for main events at Wrestle Kingdom. And I'm positive that Ghetto or anybody else could have found a better way to get a main event on night one and night two without having to beat Kota Ibushi for the briefcase and then have Ibushi literally gifted... A match on night one. I'm positive they could have found a better way to do it. That's it. Now tell us about yeah, these but, top three no, matches. No, you would be wrong, Brian. You would be wrong. No, I wouldn't because it's an opinion. Story. Yes, they were because they were telling a story that they were telling. It wasn't your story. That's what you're most upset about, and you're comparing it to WWE. That's yes. why. You compared the whole thing to Otis. They have never, ever, ever broken the stipulation about the briefcase until now. They, so it was they part broke of a, it. Because it was part of a storyline, Brian. That's like having rules in wrestling. At some point, somebody's going to go behind the ref's back and pull the hair. It's when you bastardize things over and over and over again. You just rambled for eight minutes in the opening segment about WWE treating their legends like crap over and over and over again. Or Ric Flair like crap over. That's what they do all of the time. That's why people have lost faith in them. That's why you can't believe in any of the characters that they have or the stories that they tell. They drop things. They walk away from them. Nothing matters. Yes. In New Japan, everything 
everything matters. And they laid out an entire story about Kota Ibushi closing his losses from last year at the Tokyo Dome. Period. His loss to He Naito, couldn't have lost his to Jay, loss Jay White to Jay at White some other point during the year? Because it was part of the story about he constantly keeps getting one up to by Jay White. This was going to be the year that he ascends. That's what the team with Tanahashi was about. And he goes and beats Tanahashi, overcoming all of these things throughout the year. And then finally, the one guy who keeps driving him nuts, the one guy that took his glory, the one guy that took the briefcase, all of those things. He finally puts the knife in the devil to become God. That's the story that they were telling. Okay. And they told the story. And Let you me cannot ask you like a question. it. You can bash it. You can try to compare That's it to That's what Otis I've been doing here. All you want. And yes, I know. It, you would. It's just kind of ridiculous, though. That's what you go Bro, back to. Listen, I understand it's a story. I don't like the story. I don't like seeing a guy gifted that mean it's a main wrong. event at the Tokyo Dome bad. You after projected, losing his shot at the Dome. You projected this as this, is this, a, this was a bad thing. This was awful. No, it's because you didn't like it. That doesn't mean that yes, nobody else did. it's an opinion. It mean, I'm sure what? some people did like it, but in my opinion, it's stupid to do that. To gift a guy a match at the Dome after he lost his opportunity. I think that's dumb. If you don't like, that's fine. I don't even great. want to argue about it. I okay, think it's great. stupid. <laughs> you That's want to talk it. about Raw again? What do, you, what do you want to do here? You want to talk Bro, about the two matches? I wasn't even going to talk about this. You asked me to talk about it after the break. I, I didn't wasn't ask even going to gonna talk bring about it up. anything. You <laughs> told me to, to bring up anything. the Otis point again. I it's on is, tape here. I hope this is fantastic radio for everybody. Is this working itself out the way you wanted it to be? Twitch Can chat. we talk about Did he not ask me to talk about this? Now tell me about you want these. Want me to shut off now? No, what I want you to do is tell me about the top three matches. I don't want to talk about this briefcase. I already said I didn't like you it. You came back from the break talking about the briefcase. Go ahead. You told me to. Now talk about the top three matches, please. Are we done here? Can we done? Are we done? Tell me about the top three matches. I didn't see them. I obviously no no kidding, <laughs> no kidding. The top three matches were. I mean, they were pretty great. And again, Jeff Cobb and Shingo. Was an awesome match, an awesome hoss of a match. If you, if you like even either one of those guys in the slightest bit, this may have been Jeff Cobb's best performance ever. And I didn't see him a lot in PWG or anything like that, but Jeff Cobb has absolutely stepped up to where he needs to be. Shingo is arguably a Hall of Famer. And in fact, I did put on Twitter last night, you could probably start beating the drum now for him as a Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Famer, depending on where you look at Dragon Gate and the successes they had with him there. In fact, almost his entire career with Dragon Gate. Uh, when you take all of that into account and some of the matches that he has been having in New Japan I mean, he's going to continue to make his case for the Hall of Fame. This was just a fantastic match with these two guys beating the hell out of each other for 20 minutes. I was surprised when Shingo got the victory uh, just because now all three members of the Empire have lost. Great Okan lost yesterday to Tanahashi. Jeff Cobb loses. And then obviously Will Ospreay lost to Okada. This is not out of the ordinary, no matter if you like the story or not. It's not out of the ordinary for New Japan to do with new units. It will be very interesting tonight to see what they do as a unit at New Japan Dash. Because I have a feeling we may see uh, a little bit more storyline and, and group, uh, uh, some stuff moving forward there. Uh, including Will, obviously, having to try to figure out what went wrong for the entire group. So this is going to be his first test as a leader as well, too. But I have a feeling some things are going to shake out during the dash tonight. Sonata and Evil, um, fans in Japan have liked this feud a lot more, and they have believed in Evil in that story, I think, a lot more than Western fans uh, this year. But they have great chemistry together. They had great chemistry together as a team. They have great chemistry uh, together as opponents. Sonata defeated Kota Ibushi during the G1. It looked like he was going to be. So this basically became a de facto number one contenders match between Sonata and the former IWGP heavyweight champion Evil. And it was a really, really good match. Sonata ultimately got the victory and at the end of the show came out and challenged Kota Ibushi. Uh, the junior heavyweight title match was next with Hiromu and uh, with, with Taiji Ishimori and 
usually this is the highest that a junior heavyweight championship match has ever went on at the Tokyo Dome. Uh, I think last year it, it was about two two matches down on the card, and there was a time where you never would have ever believed that they would put an IWGP junior heavyweight championship up that high on a card, but we're in some odd times, and Hiromu's just kind of an odd junior heavyweight. He certainly transcends, and uh, I don't think anybody's transcended better since Finn Balor was there as Prince Devitt, and he did... They did everything. He did everything you would expect Hiromu to do. Some nasty spots, some self-caused wounds that he took in this match. And Ishimori, uh, as far as the storyline in the match, just followed up on all of them. A lot of submission attempts, a lot on uh, on, on uh, his neck, a lot on... Uh, uh, on on Hiromu's arm and his shoulder, trying to work that, continuing to go after the neck. It was a, a very good story told. It could have used fans because of how exciting it was and some of the moves that were hit. It definitely could have used some fans there. And then the main event was just spectacular. It was an old school. It went 50 minutes, but much like most of the matches that went you know past 20 minutes on this show on either night, it didn't feel like it. They absolutely whipped it by. Jay White is that guy. Uh, you know, he absolutely is that guy as far as being the future of New Japan, one of the the the, the important puzzle pieces to their future. And Kota Obushi's time is now. It was a it was a rather easy story to tell whether you didn't like it or not. And he comes back around, gets his first IWGP championship. Uh yesterday, Naito crowns him. He's got one more pain in the rear end to get over and he finally gets over Jay White. Jay White threw everything out there. There was a little bit of interference from uh, uh, Gato obviously because you know it's just obligatory in these matches but it didn't hurt the run to the end of the match. It didn't hurt the finish it, any of that stuff and it was just a spectacular Kota Ibushi performance and you know two days of the Dome not everything was perfect. The king of, of pro wrestling stuff I thought was a complete waste of time on both nights and, and everything was not a, a perfect match or anything like that, but they were two really great wrestling shows to start the year. Uh, and again, you can choose whatever style you like the most. If you tend to go more towards Osprey or just in awe of Okada, you'll think that's the match of the year. Abushi and Naito, Abushi and Jay White, and really, again, Jeff Cobb and Shingo. It it didn't get to that level because of the athleticism and the time and the stakes that were on the line in those other matches. But, you know, a lot of people looked at this as being the sleeper match coming into the show, and it absolutely delivered 100%. Jeff Cobb looked like a monster, and he's another piece to that future of New Japan that is very, very strong. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.